Hello, folks. This is Kevin and Phil back with a, another edition of The Art of Being with the Act Matrix. I'm Kevin Polk. And I'm Phil Tenalia. There we go. And today we're here to talk about the haves and the have nots. And for the most part, the pro social matrix, which is an extension of the Act Matrix. And, uh, and this follows on the heels of our meritocracy uh, discussion, which was meritocracies are bad for you. Yeah. So you might and want to go back and check that podcast out. Check that out, but I'll briefly summarize. Yeah. If people are telling you you're in a meritocracy and then you work really hard and are very meritorious and you still don't make it, uh, <laughs> You're not, you're really not living in a meritocracy. Uh, so you're getting told you're in a meritocracy, but you're not. And uh, that leads to a lot of ill feelings. And let's extend that <laughs> to the next step, which is the have versus the have nots, which is the way this is oftentimes framed. And how are we going to talk about this one pro social, a little bit of a, uh, uh, act matrix so pro social matrix act matrix and phil added in recently oh well, we're gonna we're gonna harken back to good old abraham maslow and his hierarchy of needs right maybe i ought to put that in the title too yeah because uh, so. we're psychologists and we all know about maslow's hierarchy of needs and yeah, uh, we're just famous. discussing this before the podcast and that's what we maslow came up yeah, with well, a very famous social psychologist, yes. Maslow, and uh, wrote some. Wait, one he wrote the, a book called "Toward a Psychology of Being." Yes, he did, uh, which is interesting. But oh, what he's most he's famous for, is, cool, huh? right, is a <laughs> uh, is a hierarchy of needs, which really fits. I mean, and he he got it. I mean, the upper ones you can argue with a little yeah. bit, with the lower ones, friggin', uh, they're great. He stood the test of time. Through the test of time, well, several decades, and it, 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 it works out. So we're going to talk about it in terms of that. And, uh, but, but first of all, in terms of the difference between an act matrix and a pro-social matrix. Okay, top of the matrix. Let's go back again. Da, 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 da. Top of the matrix. Oh, Brenda, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Phil. I got my cheat sheet. Hold on. His little, uh, his little thing. I have, I have to quickly erase it. Uh, in the podcast on iTunes, and yes, it is now on iTunes. Uh, up at the top is your five senses. Also, think of the world you live in, the context, the water you swim in, <laughs> the air you breathe, the seat you're sitting in, the car you're driving as you listen to this podcast, and the messages that you're getting. Right. Through, through advertising and news and, and politicians and all that are all coming in through your five senses. And they're up there at the top. So that's the context. That's the environment. That's, that's what you're in. Uh, and it's constantly hitting your five senses. Down at the bottom of the matrix, at the bottom of the line is your mind. And then, you know, those thoughts that come to your mind, how you Oh, yeah and all of that uh, and the feelings that you have so that's down at the bottom over to the right is toward uh hey you know what i had to switch to my podcast microphone well there you go so we're going to take a very very brief pause while i because i forgot to switch to my podcast microphone now we're on podcast microphone we're back. Hey. uh and over we're toward, toward right? is toward uh toward moves or uh well uh, you move toward who and what's important to you. Uh, and over on the left is away moves. And that's how you move away from, well, the ma basic one is fear, pain. That's anything that doesn't feel good, you want to get rid of it. You want to move away from it. Yep. Um, and, so, and so then we go around in the lower right-hand quadrant, we ask who's important to you. Lower left quadrant, we say, hey, what kind of yucky stuff is showing up, like fear. Uh, uh, upper left is what kind of behaviors do you do to run? Do, do you do to reduce the fear, like run? Like run. <laughs> get away from something dangerous. And in the upper right, well, what do you do to move toward who's important to you? You know, go talk to them, go give them a hug, something like that. No. Uh, basic human stuff. And the only change, really, that comes about in the pro-social matrix Whoop is in the lower right-hand quadrant. And uh, hold on. 
I'm going to put something, put it down there really quick. Okay. So instead of saying who's important to you, drum roll, please, which we switch it to now, handwriting. We now say shared purpose. That's it. All right. So now there's two or more people and we're asking them, well, what's your shared purpose? What do you want to work on together? Where are you going to go together? Very important because we're all part of couples and threes and fours and hundreds and thousands and all kinds of different group sizes that we're part of. And those, you know, they come together under a shared all purpose. showing up for a reason. For a reason and for a shared purpose. Uh, and so now let's go back to the haves versus the have nots and the totally different context that they live in. That's why it's called haves versus have nots. Yes. Uh, and this is summed up, and it'll be in a picture that goes with the video of this podcast. Yeah, right. Uh, which is, in the, it's, it's a cute little picture. And on the lower left of it, there's a little fish. It says, the world is not a just place. And he's about to, or he or she is about to get eaten by a medium-sized fish. And a medium-sized fish is saying, well, the world is a just place some of the time. And the both of them are about to get eaten by a big fish. <laughs> and that big fish says, the world is always just. <laughs> And that is a gorgeous little picture for showing, also showing the difference between the haves, otherwise known as the big fish, the fish. versus the have nots, which is the little fish, uh, really. Uh, and there they know the world's not just. Well, then by now, this is 2019, August the 5th, uh, people, and we're just on the uh, other side of a couple of really bad mass shootings yeah, again. Horrendous weekend. Uh, here, here, a bad weekend. So yeah. Bill and I are, are recording this in part because of that. So we're not ignoring that at all. Uh, this uh, is part of that discussion. Uh, but the haves, the context, remember top of the matrix, what's coming in through your five senses. So when you look, when you go talk to a have, they will very legitimately talk to you like that big fish. Right. And I am not dissing them. I'm not. But when you talk to them, the world is fine. The world is just. It's okay. That's the waters that they swim in. That's the messages that they receive. Right. They, they receive those messages repeatedly uh, for many different reasons, but they do. But the problem is from a pro-social point of view, that is asking, hey, what's our shared purpose? They're coming at it from, well, the world is just. It's going along just as it should. Great. But they're only, and they're oftentimes now called the one percenters. Uh, and that's a very accurate. It's, well, they're not totally accurate. It's actually the less than one percenters. Uh, <laughs> but uh, nevertheless, and maybe you can creep down to about, another nine or so percent that maybe sort of kind of think things are okay. Uh, maybe. And they may be going in and out of that top. Uh, percent top right. And then after that, for darn sure, you got nine out of 10 people in the good old USA yep. that are going, nope. Yep. Otherwise Thanks. known as the rest of us. The rest of us. Right. I would Bill and I are not in that upper 10%. No way. way. Uh, as, particularly not in the upper 1%. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but anyways, that and things aren't going okay. Uh, and now here comes, well, first of all, what that means is that you start to get afraid. Fear will show up. And, and Maslow said that very clearly. And that's his first rung, which is, you know, Food. Um, basically, food and shelter. Food and shelter. I think the next one up is safety, right? Yeah, there safety, food, shelter, safety. Am I safe? Uh, am I, you know, once the food and shelter is taken care of, then we're ready to uh, tackle some other things. If we don't have the food and shelter thing down, it's going to be really hard to really even think about anything else. 
And that's yeah, so here we go. I brought it up. Go to Google search physiological needs, food, water, warmth, rest. And then the next tier up safety needs, security, safety. Okay, so those yep. are the first two. And that's the bottom of the pyramid. It's drawn as a pyramid. And uh, it's the base. And so when you got nine out of 10, really, it's more than nine out of 10 people feeling like, well, you know, my food, water, warmth, <laughs> all that good stuff is at risk. And also rest he puts in there too. <laughs> yeah, he put re right. He put rest in there is that ring. You don't get to work because you got to work 80 hours a week. All right. All right. Or 120. I go ask any school teacher. Yeah. You're not making on 40 hours a week. No. No, you got to work 80 they're hours. Putting in their 40 hours, they're going home putting in another 20 hours. Another 20 hours at least to make yeah. ends meet, okay? And the next run up is safety, which really goes along with our sea yeah. of guns that we live in. And before you diss on me too much out there in podcast land, I grew up in Oklahoma. I was given a gun by the time I was nine years old. Mm -hmm nine i know guns <laughs> so uh still own that same gun to this day because it was relatives gave it to me it's sort of a you know a keepsake kind of thing pa of passing um, a right of passage right right of passage back in that so i i grew up in a culture of guns so i'm not dissing on them but by god i don't think every tom dick harry jane and <laughs> jones should have one uh you gotta be a responsible person and somebody needs to just like driving uh, a car you need to be shown to be responsible yeah. and, and someone needs to be monitoring that. monitoring that thing exactly uh so uh, uh very much uh okay with guns and stuff i sort of this is my history uh but I'm the, like, I would do you don't let nine year olds drive cars. Uh, no, that's funny because, yeah, I was driving a car. You're probably doing that. Too. <laughs> <laughs> you think about it. Anybody can drive across a pasture. <laughs> and that's what I did. Uh, it was Not much wild. to hit there, right? Oh, and my, well, you know, stay out of the way of the cows and stuff. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I would do crazy stuff back then. But it was a different life. You know, we digress into that. But what the culture we live in uh, is that one that surrounds almost everybody over nine out of 10 people with some level of fear yes. of losing food, water, warm, rest, security, safety, uh, to quickly cover the two basic sets of needs yep. called the basic needs uh, of Maslow's hierarchy, switch that over to the matrix. The context that people are having these conversations within is fear. Right fear of loss uh we are amygdala creatures folks uh <laughs> we just are uh we have a very arrogant prefrontal cortex that thinks it knows a lot of stuff and it don't uh and we operate just thinks that it does it thinks that it does but there is ample research that shows that it's our amygdala is doing most of pulling most of the yeah. strings uh, and when that thing is cooked up on fear well bad things start to happen yeah. uh so back you know so so we'll look at it in time so we really are but when you come to solving the problem if you're going to sit down and have a conversation with the Go get your nine have nots and go get your ten haves. I mean one have. The yeah. real the real split would be nine people on the have not side and one person on the have side. That would be what you call a representative that, conversation. That would be a representative conversation. Well but the one present you gotta have some empathy for them. They ain't got a clue what you're talking about. Right. They just they don't live that. They don't they don't they don't know that not have. <laughs> They just don't know it. Uh, and uh, But they do know about keeping what they got because they have the same set of physiological needs, and that gets translated in, I got to keep my money and Everybody make more. They want to hang on to their stuff. Right. They want, I want to hang on to my stuff. And then and, and the way it's built in the United States is you get more stuff, so I got to get more of it. I got to get more money. And then they get this false sense of security for money. Uh, and, you know, that's just the way it goes. My point is when you get them together, you're not going to have a very fruitful conversation. 
And Phil, am I an expert at having pro-social conversations? I would say that there? you're uh, at the top of the heap there. Right. I, <laughs> I can have these conversations, yeah. folks. I and you have. It. But I do know I won't get very far with that one just because nope. they swim in two different waters. Apples and oranges. Apples and oranges. I'm, I'm, so when we say what's pro-social, we're going to come out with very disparate looks at things, uh, and particularly very disparate uh so what? So who's the referee in all of this? Uh, well, our forefathers set it up. They did. <laughs> Those people back there in 1776 and such uh, set it up that the referee would be the U.S. government. Yeah. And that uh, it would be a representative government. And, uh, well, that was that's the way it is. That's the dream of the United States uh, is that. Yeah. That's the big experiment that we have been uh, trying uh, to uh, pull off for – Hundreds of years now. Well, the wealthy people did just what you expect them to do. They went and bought them off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, I know it sounds strange. I'm not really dissing on them. It's sort of a natural thing for them to go buy them off. Now, I'm not so impressed with the government because it's then supposed to resist getting bought off. Yeah. It's supposed to but, say, whoa, 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 we're we're a representative of the people. representative da da da. Well, it's, it's um, and I'm not really talking conspiracy theory, yeah. folks. Go read, 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 poli sci, read economics, yeah. read this, read all kinds of stuff. No, uh, it's not. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you look at bills passed over the last twenty years, yeah. they heavily, 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 heavily show that. The one percent, maybe stretching two, three, four percent, are very well represented, yes. and the rest of everybody is not. You have almost no say in how your government works. Uh, why? Because it, it was set up so they could get bought off. So I'm talking a little bit political, but the point of the whole thing is you end up with a. 300 and something million people uh, swimming around in a sea of fear. They're afraid of losing it all. And that's in your list on that, uh, Phil, is what else? Well, uh, once we get past the basic thing there, now we're looking at uh, belongingness and love needs. I mean, that's kind of like, you know, otherwise, you know, feeling useful. Exactly. And then it was the El Paso, El Paso Shooter's Manifesto that was published online. He mentioned an interesting word, automation. Mm. And it's a word that you know, I think most of our podcast listeners will have heard of, but they may not have thought of the total, the, the end point. And, and what the manifesto was really sort of tip showing us uh, and uh, of the that fear of automation which on its core is right Phil you're going to lose your job because oh yeah be automated or, or, or that you can't get one right uh, th that but it it goes it goes to that third rung up Maslow's hierarchy yeah. belongingness and love and needs intimate relationships right. friends and then and, up into and, esteem and needs which esteem. is feelings of accomplishment all right all, all of that I feel useful right I and I want to switch it into tribe talk we all want to be useful members of the tribe you know I want to be a hunter or a gatherer or a cooker. <laughs> Or a somebody. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be Martin, a somebody. Shaman, whatever. <laughs> whatever. I want to be a somebody. Yeah. Uh, and suddenly the threat is you ain't nobody. You're irrelevant. And that's the term. Uh, and that's the fear of automation is the fear of irrelevancy. And so let that sink around in you. Once you become irrelevant uh, to everybody else, or you are afraid of becoming irrelevant mm. think you are smashing on hierarchy one two three four yeah. just 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 hammering them well so if you if you combine up all of that fear and a whole bunch of guns and a whole bunch of hateful rhetoric yeah guess what's going to come out mm. it's like 
of course we're going to get exactly what we're getting. So our point is that, and it's very important to talk about gun stuff, very important. Um, it's very important to talk about race relations and, and, and all, that's very important. But my point is, and Phil's too, is don't forget about the haves and the have-nots. Yeah, because that's lurking in the background. That is, well, it's driving everything. The I rest of the stuff it. will stay there, but it's going to be made worse by... Agitating. Ag right, it's just going to make it worse. And right now, the way it's set up is that the haves are getting more and more. Uh, current this is gov good old government statistics or anybody's statistics you want to look at 10 percent of the people have 90 percent of everything <laughs> that's yeah. basically it well and that's just getting worse there's no reverse of that so pretty soon it's going to be you know nine percent's got 91 percent then it's going to be eight percent's got 92 percent it's just getting worse uh and that means that fear level that thing at the top of the matrix that we talk about, uh, you know, well, the, it, it's all of that loss ends up down in the bottom part, bottom left, fear. Yep. And what do people do when they feel afraid? Well, they are going to do all kinds of things to get away from that fear, Kevin. It's and right. And but what you're seeing is uh, uh, horrendous away moves. Yeah, including resorting to violence. Violence, murder, mass murder, right. horrible. And you want to uh, say, well, these were people, they were, you know, trying to be with the white supremacists, moving toward their white supremacist comrades or whatever. Uh, no. <laughs> it's a massive, horrible, destructive, not workable away move. Uh, uh, some away moves are are fine, you know, but others are very destructive. You know that on your own personal level, and on societal level, these kind of away moves are just just, just horrendous. I feel horrible about them, and that's why we're doing this podcast. Because uh, we, what can we do? We can do a podcast. We can probably do some other things, but we're going to do a podcast uh, and, and keep it. So, yes, talk about haves versus have-nots and guns and race relations and you know, gender relations. And, you know, these are all good, but don't. The, the, the danger is what, Phil? I'll let you say it. What's the danger uh, in all of these discussions of guns and, and race and gender. Well, the danger is, is that we, we lose track of what's driving all of that. The big driver. Yeah, fear. It's fear. Right. And what's driving the big fear? Well, those that do and those that do not. And <laughs> those that do not know that they don't have. Right. And they're const and we're constantly getting the messages that all that stuff is out there to have, and there's no way to access it. No, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so the magazines always say, "Go buy the best. Right. Go get the best. Take the best trip. Do this. Do that." And every single day, there's less people that can even imagine it. Yeah. Uh, and then you start hearing that the robots are going to take over, right? Uh, and you're just going to be irrelevant. You don't need to be, you don't need to be here anyway. So, and a tribe sense you're being outcast. You're being sent outside this, outside the limits of the tribe. You're outcast. You'll die out there. Yeah. You're shunned. The term is called shunning, uh, but you're being shunned by society. You, you're becoming irrelevant. So that kind of fear, and that comes from the have versus the have not stuff. Uh, it was summed up great for the French Revolution. Uh, oh, yes, good old Marie. Marie, a, a quote uh, that I think historians, yeah. historians say that she never she said. She really didn't say it. But, but it summed up the whole thing. Let them eat cake. Uh, which is when uh, apparently, you know, the, the peasants are starving and like, well, what's their problem? Our, the peasants have no bread to, bread, bread to eat. It was probably somewhere along that line. And she said, well, what's your problem? They can eat cake. 
<laughs> yeah. said like a true have of got a pantry full of stuff you know what's the problem eat something else uh and that's the way a have would look at it uh and uh but notice i'm really not trying to be horrible about the haves no. or, or people uh but there are people that are swimming in a very 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 different water yes. uh, they're swimming they're swimming in the have water and where all the rest of us are swimming in the have not water uh and and we're seeing more and more bad stuff though there's i don't want to predict bad you know bracketing but the way our system is set up it's government that steps in and and fixes that and they're not yeah that is their role you know i will go politics there they're not yeah. <laughs> they're, they're not fixing that as a matter of fact they're making it worse uh yeah. step by step by step so uh so we, we got to figure out both the right people in do this do that um, you know i'm not going to get out and start yelling revolution or whatever uh but we got to fix that problem that the referee is the government between yeah. the haves versus the have nots and uh, you think about it in terms of our society the government is the one supposed to monitor all of this they're supposed to monitor it and say you know this isn't fair yeah this is the people aren't getting a fair shake uh, and we're, here we are saying it's a, a you know, you can bo be born anywhere in the United States and you can achieve, you know, whatever you want. And the statistics show that is such a bold faced lie. It's pathetic. You have to dig around and dig around and dig around to find one freaking example of that happening. Uh, and in every one of those examples, if the person is honest, they will say there was a massive amount of luck. <laughs> I'm just going to use that word luck. <laughs> <laughs> that, that got me in this position. That, right. that got Which me is there. Just pure happenstance being in the right place at the right the time. Right, the right time. Period. Exactly. Uh, you know, even with very talented people, yeah. uh, it was being in the right place at the right time. Uh, and, uh, it, it's 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 not a meritocracy, folks. So now dovetail it up. Not a meritocracy, and the table is horribly tilted toward the haves. And uh, they say, yeah, 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 Kevin. Yeah, they talk about. Well, the problem is that that puts ninety something percent of the people in fear. A lot of their daily lives yep. are spent every in day fear. walking around all around interacting with other people who are also in swimming fear. in the same soup. And then you get a eight chan. That's the name of the hate. Oh yeah. That hate channel that's right. going on. And so then they get an outlet going. And, uh, and, and by the way, you can fix the have versus have not problem and you'll still have some of those people running. Oh, yeah. yeah. But they won't get the same traction. They're, yeah. They're not going to be heard <laughs> the same way. No, I'm not going to get as that much Maslow trouble. kicks in, and once your needs are being met, you're not looking around to escape from fear. Exactly. Right. And you're, and you're, like, and you're right. Everything's good, and I'm relevant. I want to have yeah. a job. I, I have a, I have meaning, and so I have a chance at an art of being. So let's go back to our name of our podcast, the yeah. art of being. Well, that is based on that you can artfully engage in this life of being a human that has meaning. And even if Phil and I were just, that was ripped away from us, well, there wouldn't be any art of being to it. It no. would just be <laughs> nothing, you know, I don't, I have no, I, I have no relevance, you know, I'm irrelevant. Uh, and I think that's a great word to use. Uh, and all that says. There is a segment of people who are very afraid of becoming irrelevant. Yeah. Now, they may not be able to articulate that, uh, but that's what's going that's on. That's what's showing up on the And I, I just really triggered me when I, I saw the, in the manifesto mm -hmm. he had put in automation, the El Paso one. Uh, yeah. put in automation. I'm like, whoa, oh, there is that. Now that's getting into the mix. Yep. We got the have nots. Uh, <laughs> And they're feeling irrelevant, and they're getting desperate, and they got guns. Yeah, uh, and so uh, they come up with that solution, which is so, not a solution. So let's leave all everything else off the table. Yep. You just have a human. I don't care, male or female, a human 
that is living in almost constant fear and you give them ready access to guns. And there's a few many, you know, million of them. I don't think you have to be much of a scientist to predict <laughs> what's going to Likelihood happen. Likelihood they're going to pick one of them up. Right. It's going to, going to pick up a gun and they're going to do something bad. Uh, and notice I didn't say white supremacist or nothing. I just, just people, just a human. Uh, so that's, that's the danger, folks, is we'll say, oh, that would only be the white supremacist that would do that. No, it's a human. Uh, it's a human living in fear with ready access to, you know, very powerful methods of destroying other people. Uh, and uh, whoo, dangerous situation, which is fed by the haves versus the have nots. And it is versus because of that. So anyway, we need the referee to come in, the adults to step into the room yep. <laughs> and make it a fair shake, uh, which was the, which was what we were sold on 200 years ago or yeah. 300, you know, back back in the, that. That was supposed to be the deal. It's not. Level, to level the playing field. Level the playing field. It's not. Uh, and, uh, and it's not. Anyway, come on. We're a couple of white guys. We're pretty much a privilege. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we ain't in the upper 10%. Uh, at least I'm not. Maybe Phil's oh, no, 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 no. secretly hiding it all away. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, no, and, and I wouldn't say for a second, I, you know, I carry white privilege. Uh, yeah, I got cool. to do lots of things because yeah. I'm a white male in this society. Um, uh, so, hell, I'm male. Think of that. I can walk yeah. down the street at night and not be too damn afraid. My wife can't. Nor can mine, yes. Right. Or my daughter. Or your daughter. Or my daughter. Right. So there you go. That's part of our white uh, male as as, supremacy. That's as far as it extends. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, we got, we did. We both got to be psychologists. You know, we figured out how to. We could do that in large part because uh, you know where we, where we were. But uh, the, so we we do have that. It just doesn't come up all the way to the point of being the haves, of which you just absolutely don't. Only thing you have to worry about in terms of money is making sure you keep all your money and get more. Uh, and uh, yeah, don't. Uh, that's a different yeah. hierarchy of need than the other ninety-nine percent. Yeah, yeah, and that's a, if you get them in a room, it is the, you're just not going to have a very fruitful discussion. You got to have the referee. And that's referees are part of life. You know, that's why they have referees oh, yeah. in sporting contests and stuff. They, they got to step in and make sure it's a level playing field. And right now we don't have that. Yeah. So, uh, so everybody keep thinking about haves versus the have nots and house. Look, notice the fear around you. Yes. So homework, Phil, what would be good homework? I just said yeah, well, that would be to notice the fear and, and notice your response and to notice whether your response is helping you to move toward your important people and things in your life or shared purpose, or maybe you're doing stuff to try to reduce the fear, which is, you know, sometimes it's got to reduce the fear. Sometimes it's got to go off there and do something to, you know, just get away from it for a bit, get back, rest. That's what Maslow said, you know, the idea of, hey, am I getting enough, even just simple rest in my life to keep doing the things I need to be doing? Yeah. And I guess there may be people, well, they just don't have the option to do all that, Phil. Yeah. They just don't have it. No. They just don't have the option. And that, you just got to get up and go. That's a bummer. It is. <laughs> so, now going back off the wet, white pr privilege thing, I, I think there's people so being strung out that yeah. uh, they don't have the privilege of noticing and this nope. and that. So, I do not have the answers, folks. Yeah. But I do know one thing. If it ain't out in the open and people talking about it, it's it's not nothing's ever going to happen so i guess the first thing uh if you get a chance and if you're in a position to notice uh the fear and the fear of you know not of losing your shelter and losing your food and losing your safety and all of that i guess most people should have a fear of losing their safety because now pretty well you can't go you can't even go to a walmart and be safe oh yeah the, the, that the dude in El Paso just took a Walmart off. Recently, a person in Brooklyn, New York, took the what was it? Garlic, a garlic festival. Yes. Took that off. Not safe. Yes. 
Not safe to go there either. Yeah. <laughs> Not safe to go to the music. Showing up in all of us. I, I went to do a little shopping yesterday, and the first thing I thought of when I got out of the car, and I've never had this thought before, Kevin, which was I looked around to see, okay, is it okay? And, and that's it. And that's, that's what I mean. So how about a music festival? Yeah. Nope. Or a concert. Las Vegas shot yeah. the heck out of a bunch of people. Or just a movie. Okay, let's go to church. Whoops. Yeah. That, that yeah. don't work either. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the more, I mean, there's like everywhere, shopping mall. Nope, 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 nope. There's shop people up there too. So now, right, you're in Phil's position. And, uh, and, and I was trying to estimate how many millions of other people are in Phil's position, oh. including myself. Of that uh, I looked around, around I thought, I'll, how many other people are doing just what I'm doing right now? Right, look, looking around, and uh, and I will say to folks, and in, in case, and I am a gun owner, and I'm an old gun guy, more guns are not the solution. Here's here's what I thought of immediately. That was an, that was a Walmart in El Paso, Texas. Yeah. You can conceal carry a gun in El Paso, Texas. You can open carry a gun in El Paso, Texas, and there was no less than they say two thousand people in that Walmart. Yeah. Well, just do just the most rudimentary of statistics and how many of those Walmart patrons, and they were nice people. I'm not saying they were yeah. bad, but they were packing. Oh, yeah. There was a certain position no doubt. Them that were packing. They had guns. Guess what? They, none of them shot. No right. gunmen. Yep. No guns, never. Those good people that are carrying guns in order to stop somebody like him did not. It didn't work. And that's the problem. They won't. You have to be so freaking highly trained yeah. to do that well. And anybody who knows how to do it knows that it's only a week or two of coming off of training that you will lose your edge yeah. to do that. Yeah. Yeah, without uh, that constant repetition, right? Constant repetition of being able to 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 pull out a gun in those situations and do something. Uh, it's it's a heck of a lot of training to be able to do that, and even with training, you still screw up. Uh, uh, police that are highly even highly trained, well, and and any target range would hit you know way over nine out of ten times their accuracy goes down to right below 50% in those kind of situations. They can't even point and shoot straight. And they are trained. Uh, so, uh, so if the NRA comes out and says, we need more guns and more people packing in that Walmart, Don't you just, believe it. I'll go nutso. No, <laughs> really. uh, it's not the case. That's yeah. not the answer. That there we case in point, El Paso, Texas, yep. there was plenty of people packing. Oh, yeah. Plenty of people packing. Far away a life down there. Not a single one of them got in there and did anything. Uh, so no, that's not the answer. So <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. And you're not going to train them all up either. And you're not going to train the teachers to shoot either. No, not um, no guns. Guns in the school is not the answer. Uh, now they're doing that. You know, come yeah. on, they're going to train those teachers up no. to shoot like that in those kind of situations. Those are horrendously stressful situations. That, that I can't even imagine the stress level. And, and your heart rate is going to go shoot to 180, yeah. 200 beats a minute right. uh, in a second. Uh, I mean, all the blood's going to flow to your inner core in just well, a second. All yeah. of that is going to happen, and you're going to have to react. To, no, it ain't going to happen. Take, so take don't, that don't, on and try to be, uh, try to so take an accurate shot. Forget about it. My wife says I'm getting edgier in my old age. I'll get <laughs> edgier. Uh, no, no, no. I've, I've talked with gun people and this and that and the other, but uh, not, you know, don't give me that. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, so that, uh, more guns are not going to be the answer. So I will say that. I, I'm not getting on that, but I do know that the fear that's driving the guns is the have versus the have not oh, yeah. because that's that's the my that's the maslow's hierarchy and once you start getting people afraid they're going to lose their food and their shelter and their safety and stuff and then throw on top of that they're going to become irrelevant my goodness we're not at the end of this folks nope not by a long shot not by a long shot are we at the end of this one uh, i just can't imagine that we are because that's that's the soup we're all swimming in um and uh so i don't 
don't know the answer, except uh, we need to return to a representative government that represents the people, the nine out of 10 people that don't have all that money. Uh, and uh, who knows? Go vote or do something. Uh, <laughs> Become an activist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, but most definitely talk about the haves versus the have-nots. Uh, keep talking about that. It's, yeah, it's tough. What else you got to say, Phil? Well, Kevin, I think we've covered it pretty well. Uh, it's, it's a difficult day for, for all of us, and I think you and I wanted to have this conversation. And um, I think we'd leave it to the people that are listening in to uh, you know, notice for themselves. Um, you know, like you said, the fear is going to be there. That's not going to go away. Yeah, that's going to uh, be as long there, as yeah. we live in a situation where we don't feel like, you know, government has your back. Uh, you're going to be having to do like look around for yourself. And that's a very difficult place to be if you're not just making ends, if you can't even make your ends meet. Yeah, and there's tens of millions of people yeah. who are working hard. They are not on welfare. They get up every day. They do what they need to do. And they ain't making ends meet. No. Uh, that's, that, that is, that's, that's just, that is not <laughs> what was envisioned <laughs> of this great experiment. Uh, and uh, and it, it's just not. So uh, I guess one thing, notice when people try to brought, you know, Oh, yeah, bring the conversation around to the other things, right? Right, uh, do that. Uh, I mean, guns, yeah, you know, white supremacy, yeah, talk about yeah, it, race that's, relations. That's a part of it, yeah. Gender relations, uh, great, absolutely talk about it. Right. But then say, and oh, yeah, let's talk about how most people in this country are getting screwed over in terms of their physiological and safety needs yep. in inequality inequality and that's just gonna feed the rest of that boom 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 it's just gonna feed it uh it's like a ginormous battery <laughs> that's supplying current to yeah. all of those current other constantly. things this is just constant current oh. and uh so yes talk about all of those other things and talk about uh, the have versus have nots. And the more we scream and yell about it and talk, maybe we'll, we can figure out. And make a bit of a ruckus here. I can make a bit of a ruckus and, and figure out how to, how to change that Absolutely. into a true representative. But we got to get the referee working and the referee's yeah. not working. Oh, I will get so political as to say that. Yeah. It's not working. It's clear the referee's not working. We need to fire the the Super Bowl referees and yeah, hiring new staff. That's why we're back to the voting thing. It's super <laughs> important, right? It is the one thing we vote get. To... Is, the one thing you get is the vote. And let's hopefully and let's make it meaningful and let's yeah, get man, something going it. there. Uh, and get the, tilt, get, get the playing field fair. Yes. Boy, as long as it's not fair. And we have all these guns. And we're not going to get rid of the guns in the next few weeks. No, they're uh, not going away. I mean, if we could shut the whole industry down today and there's still going to be plenty of guns around. Yep. Um, so let's, let's figure that out, but don't forget about that fear. So remember matrix stop all kinds of messages that you're not good enough. You ain't, you ought to be making it. You ought to have a Tesla Phil. Why don't you have a Tesla Phil? Come on. Yeah, I was wondering that myself. Yeah. yeah get on a freaking program. I'm not good enough. Oh, geez. Oh, oh no. Phil's a failure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's, of I stink. Right. You yeah, see, that, you that's know. how this goes. The human mind is exactly how the human mind works. I am less than. Right. And boom, 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 boom. And then I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in fear of Phil going, doing anything. Nah, I don't have any guns. Murders or anything, but God darn. There's a whole lot of other people out oh. there. Uh, they get they're, in those desperate, desperate straits. They get in exactly. desperate straits, desperate thoughts. And uh, so, so just remember that matrix and remember how much fear is showing up inside yeah. of people. And I, I think the forefathers, they didn't understand psychology and Maslow wasn't around back no, then. No, he wasn't there. Uh, and all that. But really part of the democracy uh, of a representative thing is that and it's been mentioned before, but yeah. you know that that you know, 
freedom from that kind of gnawing fear. Uh, <laughs> that's a, uh, you know, we all live in a country, it was uh, cool, I heard once, Europe is a freedom from, freedom from tyranny, basically. Right. United States is freedom to do all, whatever the hell you want. Right, life, liberty, pursuit. Right, right. And, uh, well, how about freedom from? Let's get a little freedom from fear over here. We, we could uh, use a little bit more of that. A little freedom from fear. Yeah. and let's, let's A little better relief. And I wish I could fix it right now because yeah. I'm that kind of person, but I can't. So we'll do it. And then we're going to, well, we're going to record some other stuff for the Act Matrix account. Oh, yeah. And uh, we'll be doing that. In the meantime, sign up for one of our courses. Please. Uh, if you got a little bit of money. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, that's the way we keep it going. Uh, and uh, train people up, certify people on how to do this. Oh, man, I do think the life would be better if we had every member of Congress trained in how to negotiate with the ACT Matrix. You know what, Kevin? I have had people say that to me many times over this past year. Boy, it'd be great to get the Matrix up in there. Oh, it would be. Uh, we, they would be having a different conversation. Yeah. So, uh, so if you can help Phil and I figure out how to do that, yeah. Uh, that'd be We're great. Game. Let us know. But in the meantime, sign up for something if you can. <laughs> it, helps us out. Sure, it sure helps us out. Uh, and uh, we'll get off of this and let you go on about your day. Stay safe, folks, best Stay you can. Better. Yes. Um, you know, more of a somber mood here in the United States yeah. here on August the 5th, uh, 2019. Uh, and uh, boy, I sure hope we can fix it. Yeah. And in that case, fix it. Change the context. Change if you want to call fix it, change the context to one that is it's it's more a level playing field. Uh, this this ain't a it's not a fair fight. It's not fair. And when you're not in a fair fight, bad things happen. People get, you know, they cheat. Yeah. Uh, they do things that uh, aren't good. So uh let's make it a fair fight. Okay, we'll okay. sign off now. Be back for another podcast soon, I am Take sure. Care. Hang around, Phil. Where does it say? Stop. There we go.